hello guys welcome to my channel Bakhtes lab and today I am going to show you uh, the detection technique of uh, spring for shell in my previous video I have already shown you like how to exploit uh, spring for shell like uh, remote code execution now in this video we will be talking about like uh, the approach to detect the spring for shell uh, in the web or in the uh, source code so yes it is possible there's a two uh, different approach one is dynamic approach and the second one is uh, static approach so in dynamic approach uh, scanner can uh, scan the web application and determine whether the application is vulnerable or not so these are the some uh, tools or scripts are there uh, among them nmap uh, nuclei owsp zab uh, extender are the uh, popular one and uh, for a static approach some um, uh, new script uh, have been uh, scripted and launched uh, in GIT, uh, github so uh, let's start with uh, the detection and for uh, before going to uh, demonstrate uh, uh, let's discuss about the application this is the application uh, this is for a resnoc application mm, i have already uh, uh, like uh, used this application in my previous video and uh, i'll give the uh, poc link the uh, uh, spring shell for spring for shell uh, poc link uh, in this particular uh, description box so that you can use so this is the i have already hosted uh, this is a docker image i have already hosted this one and this is the docker file so you can check this is uh, it is running and uh, it is giving you this particular uh, hello world greetings is the path so let's talk about the uh, nmap script first so for nmap script this is the uh, url i think is it, this is this one uh, spring for shell nmap script it is not official nmap script so you need to uh, download this one and you need to use the script uh, so i have already cloned the git repo so let's go to the uh, common prompt yeah this one and let's go to cd okay cd nmap is there ls and uh, i need to check nmap double dash sc script kl2 this is the name is spring for shell dot nsc and uh, let's start with double triple v to get some more for the uh, more verbosity then local host and the port will be 8080 the docker port so let's see uh, whether it is uh, able to detect the vulnerability of uh, spring shell or not so it will take some time and yes it uh, just detected the vulnerability and this is the details it is saying that uh, it is vulnerable and this is the details check status extra information is there and it is uh, yeah, like uh, there is some reference and the static ID. So it is saying that it is vulnerable. So nice one is down and map is done. Uh, so via nmap script it is possible to detect the uh, spring for shell. Nice. So let's talk uh, to the next one that is called Nikolai 2.6.5. This is what is Nikolai? Nikolai is the uh, web application scanner that is a popular one and it is based on that template uh, yml template so this is the updated one 2.6.5 to okay let me clear the screen first this is the command for nuclei you can check this is the 2.6.5 version and it will uh, it is having almost 300 3000 plus uh, template and the last update is having the 20 uh, template now um, in this particular among this 20 update uh, the spring for shell uh, template is also the part of it so for this one I need to uh, run this particular command for um, the command prompt 
or the terminal control C clear the screen first and then V so I will uh, scan the host uh, with the ID parameter CV2 2022 or uh, 22965 this is the uh, spring for shell uh, vulnerability cv id so we can call it like this way and it will take some time and see uh, it is now in progress once it is done it will give you the result like whether it is uh, vulnerable or not yes it see it is vulnerable uh, CV2022 uh, and the whenever details is critical and this is the point check exploit and this is the protocol yes it is vulnerable so via nuclei also it is possible to detect the vulnerability okay so second one is also down so let's go to the third one third one is our popular OWSP zap Z attack proxy so this is the rule for this one, I think uh, it is official now. Uh, yeah, this one, the spring partial detection with ZAP. And this is how it looks like. Uh, ZAP attack proxy. Um, ZAP attack proxy. Uh, lock for sure. Okay. Just install the this one. Okay. So I have already done that one. So let's check. Uh, let's open the OWSP ZAP. it will take some time to open so for this one you need to what you need to do let's go to the yeah the blog post now install the latest L alpha active scan rules normally you need to go to the marketplace for this one and then you need to install the alpha active scan rules uh, for i have already installed that one but i will show the uh, path so that you can use it from your end yes no start so this is the OWSP zap there is nothing new very new and this is the marketplace uh, sorry manage add-ons and these are the store installed one so I have already installed this one you can check this is the installed one alpha uh, scanner rules uh, previously it was not there then I installed that one and I got this one spring for shell uh, CVID scan rules okay now uh, for for you who have uh, who haven't done any any kind of uh, installation now you need to go to the marketplace and check for updates you will uh, get to know about the details of the uh, updated uh, the uh, like uh, the, the add-ons it will comes like this one see uh, active scanner like it is now beta version uh, in alpha version there will be a uh, this type of mark will be there uh, active scanner rules alpha you need to install that one once you need to, once you install it will come under like this way okay so it is now uh, already installed so there is nothing to do uh, so I close this one and let's start the automated scan so let's go to our docker url now copy control v all are there use traditional spider it is done attack now whenever i enter a valid url if I give something okay http okay so okay so it will take some time because it will be spidering first spidering the uh, web application first though there's no uh, such uh, it is not a large application it's very uh, two or three pages are there so hopefully it is done yeah it is done and it is giving the uh, details spring for shell is there and you will get to know about like this one and see this is the details of the information that is spring for shell risk is high confidence is medium and, and it is saying that it is the uh, it is vulnerable to this particular uh, cvid that is spring for shell so third one also completed the owsp zap uh, so we have already uh, covered three different uh, tool uh, to detect the spring for shell.
now let's close this one i'm closing this one and let's go to our uh, the next one the bub extender uh, this is a github uh, as for a scanner okay it is a github uh, it's uh, let's go to this one it's a uh, you need to go to the extender first uh, but unfortunately i cannot show this one because i don't have the uh, bub shoot pro because you can check uh, it is coming uh, under the passive scanner as well as the active scanner uh, in community edition that is a free edition doesn't have the, this particular scanning features uh, if you are using uh, Babshoot Pro uh, or Babshoot Enterprise I think you can uh, able to use this one and once uh, you uh, can uh, like uh, scan the particular web host uh, if it is vulnerable you will get to know uh, like this way you will get to know about the vulnerability details like this way it will give you the this particular information like this way okay so this is how you can uh, use this particular uh, uh, python script or python extender for burp uh, so it is if you have any doubt if you have any problem on that uh, via installation please let me know so that i can guide you and let's go to the next portion of the uh today's topic that is the uh, static approach for static approach i don't have the code base so uh, let's visit the url first so this is this is uh, this is the url for detecting the spring for shell vulnerabilities uh, let's go to let's copy this one first okay uh, sorry my let's copy this one let's control v okay this is spring for shell detect you can check and it is uh, it is using like spring for shell detect uses scan d project directory so it is taking the directory and it will give you the result so there is no uh, screenshot but this is quite simple okay so let's, let's go to the next one control c control v spring tools scan spring installation folder is there and exclude folder like method accept routings handle submission getting so it will give you the details of uh, scan spring dot py it is financial vulnerability may be created as new but because number of conditions like all so it will give you the details as well so this is another one you can check i will give you the details of the link in my description box just check uh, according to your project or the source code now this is the next one the local spring vulnerability scanner it is almost the same verbose quite exclude path scan network blah 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 uh, scan finished uh, indicated for vulnerability component found yes like this way it is getting the vulnerability nice so you can check this one as well uh, it's go project i guess yes it's a go project yes the last one is uh, spring one uh, control v. it is also a go project nine so see this one yes okay windows linux docker container also okay you can you you can check uh using this tool you can now uh, also scan containers nice so you can use scan uh, container image also so via this tool awesome mm, I, I have container but i think okay nice for development you can go to this one okay nice so you can check this tool uh, in your uh, free time or you know lab uh, so till now uh, 
so thank you for watching and if you like this video please uh, share it to your infosec friends infosec community uh, and please uh, like subscribe this channel for more uh, interesting videos